I was under a 90s nostalgia spell watching this. But once those credits were done, <laughs> reality came in and said, snap out of there. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Where am I? I, was, I was 2020, was bitch. Huh? Huh? I was having the most wonderful dream. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> and you were there and you were there <laughs> and Vanilla Ice was there this has got to be one of the most offensive pieces of shit to come out of the early 90s yes I said it The one of the most offensive pieces of shit to come out the goddamn 90s man it was just you know what it was what pissed me off with this and this up here jigging and jiving and shit him too jigging and jiving this was a way to cash in on hip hop without scaring the white people, man. They were trying, man, for a long time. They 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 had found a way to cash in on hip hop without scaring the white people or making them upset because they couldn't have all these little white girls out here and these white teens mm-hmm. and these 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 uh early these early twenty white teens white girls. We couldn't have them lusting and creaming themselves over these fucking uh, black dudes, over these scary gangsters and these. And, uh, uh, hippity hopping black dudes jumping all over the place. We can't have girls want to have sex with them. Can't have that. We can't. You know, it's the same old shit. It's, it's from the early days of rock and roll yeah. was stolen by white people because yeah. because they didn't want to have these white girls wanting to f- these black dudes up there gyrating their hips and dancing on pianos mm-hmm. and shit. Exactly. We can't have any of our girls. F- little Richard. No, <laughs> not the little Richard. With f- them. <laughs> that was a joke. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but they tried for a long time too. Thing is. Beastie Boys couldn't do it with them. They were too punk and too frat boy and too uh, and too wild, yeah. too crazy. Yeah. And yeah, too crazy. They were they were you know they were they were still uh, they they were they were way even though they were hip hop they were way too rock and roll and punk for mm-hmm. for for, uh, for white people. Uh, yeah, for, could, for the for the established. Well, they couldn't be packaged in a way that was sexy. Right. No, same thing with third base. Third base, they just weren't cute enough. You know these slubs over here. Not that, not that, that I'm saying like they're, they're, they're you know bad looking guys or anything, but it was something where even they were a little bit too black and they just weren't pretty enough. Mm-hmm. Right. But they finally found their golden boy, their blonde white golden boy. They might as well found Captain America and some fucking <laughs> ice. <laughs> Look at his jacket. He's wearing a jacket, he's he's wearing a jacket right there. <laughs> they found Robbie Van Winkle right here, and they said, "Perfect. Mm-hmm. We found our Elvis." Yeah. He's the this they were trying to pull another Elvis with him. Yeah. Right down to winning the but first dude to win a Grammy. First hip hop act to win a Grammy. And the thing is, you, you get the impression, I mean, I know it's appropriation, uh, but it seemed like Robbie Van Winkle was really into it. And had he not been co-opted and packaged, he might have gone on to do better things. He, he might have. Oh, that's a great point. But it, you know, I mean, you know, snatching him up early and going, "Hey, kid, we're gonna make you a star. Right. You're gonna make us money." And he's 21. Man, years let me old. let me yeah. tell you, let me tell you how much they tried to make uh to make a a new Elvis out this guy, man. They tried to. I'll tell you what's offensive about it. They tried to the point where they made a goddamn modern day Tarzan movie. That, they, oh, they, because what they did was you got the guy who was running around in pretty much a black dominated area. But he's the white guy that everybody follows. He's uh-huh. the one that's in charge. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, uh, no, no, you know, no. but what, he's the one. He's the prettiest, the most handsome, the most charismatic. The girls give him the, the phone girls numbers. give him the phone numbers. His, uh, his crew is all racially. Uh, uh, what, what's the word, word I'm looking for? It's yeah, what, inoffensive. It's what they've done with soul and rock and roll. If there are black people involved, what they do is they put the white person in front, and then they just put some black people behind yeah, them. Back up, man. To either do yeah. some doo wop shit like this, or booga. do some goddamn dancing. Yeah, 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 ooga booga. Yeah, you know he's the one that's doing all the cool and sexy stuff. Meanwhile, his black posse just there, standing behind him the whole time. <laughs> he gonna get that pussy. Cause he, yeah, exactly. <laughs> because he'd be, you know, he'd be the one to be, as as we said, man. He'd be the one to be all, all suave, all cool, all charismatic, while the, his, his black posse back there looking like a bunch of goddamn Hanna-Barbera sidekicks. Right. Hi. Oh. 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 Man, get the f*** out of here. Yeah. You yeah. frick fracking shit. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't this about a bitch? I mean, look at this. Three Scrooges look at back this there. Yeah. yeah, and they just there to just back him up and just do whatever he says. It's my turn to stay I, in this I, direction. I tell you what, Billy, that's that's right after the opening credits. Yeah, uh. right. I'm told. Yeah, right after all, one, once the credits were done, this ah. shit, this movie was done. Ah, <laughs> oh. 
<coughs> they oh might as well have been God. animated. They're trying to push the black people out like they usually do, mm -hmm. but keep the attitude. Yeah. It would be, and the thing is, it looks like I'm getting mad. No, it would actually be really infuriating if it wasn't so hilarious. Oh. You already heard it in the trailer, man. It made for some classic lines, boy. <laughs> so th this shit, I ain't never seen a movie this bad that is so quotable, man.